What happens to Tom in the holographic principle? As far as we know, nothing dramatic happens. Um, we're not anywhere close to being confident that we know what's going on here yet. So there are good unanswered questions about whether time is fundamental, whether time is emergent, whether it has something to do with quantum entanglement, whether time really exists at all, uh, different theories, different proponents of different things. Um, but there's nothing specifically about holography that would make us change our opinions about time, whatever they happen to be. But holography is fundamentally about, it's, it's a question of space? It really is, yeah. Okay, so time is just a, like a- Time just goes along for the ride, as far as we know, yeah. So all the questions about time is just almost like separate questions, whether it's emergent and all that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, that might be a reflection of our ignorance right now, but yes. If we figure out a lot, you know, millions of years from now about black holes, how surprised would you be if they travel back in time and tell, told you everything you, you want to know about black holes? How much do you think there is still to know? And how mind blowing would it be? Mm. It does depend on what they would say. You know, I think that there are colleagues of mine who think that we're pretty close to figuring out how information gets out of black holes, how to quantize gravity, things like that. I'm more skeptical that we are pretty close. I think that there's room for a bunch of surprises to come. So in that sense, I suspect I would be surprised. The biggest and most interesting surprise to me would be if quantum mechanics itself were somehow superseded by something better. As far as I know, there's no empirical evidence-based reason to think that quantum mechanics is not 100% correct. But it might not be, that's always possible. So, and there are, again, respectable friends of mine who speculate about it. So that's something I would, that's the first thing I'd wanna know. <laughs> oh, so like the black hole would be the most clear illustration. Yeah, that's where it would show up. If there's something, it would, it would show up there. So. I mean, maybe, the point is that black holes are mysterious for various reasons, so, yeah, if our best theory of the universe is wrong, that might help explain why. But do you think it's possible we'll find something interesting like black holes sometimes create new universes or black holes are a kind of portal through space time to another place or something like this? Like, we, And then our whole conception of what is the fa fabric of space time changes completely because black holes, it's like Swiss cheese type of situation. Yeah, you know, um, that would be less surprising to me because I've already written papers about that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have, again, strong reason to think that the interior of black hole leads to another universe. But it is possible, and it's also very possible that that's true for some black holes and not others. Um, this is stuff we, we don't know. It's easy to ask questions we don't know the answer to. The problem is the questions that are easy to ask that we don't know the answer to are super hard to answer. <laughs> because these objects are very difficult to test and to explore for the us. The regimes are just very far away. So either literally far away in space, but also in energy or mass or time or whatever.